Hello and welcome. My name is David Tavares. Today we're going to review a open source Unreal Engine plugin um, that was released by CD Projekt Red. Uh, it was first brought to my attention on a Facebook group um, and then Twitter, and so I checked it out myself. You can see I linked it here on, on LinkedIn. Um, it's actually a really interesting and useful plugin, especially if you're working with a lot of people on a single Unreal Engine project. Um, it works in Unreal Engine 4 and 5. Um, I got it set up here in 5.1, and I'll show you how to do that um, here. Um, I had to take a couple extra steps more than it says in the directions, um, so you might run into the same problems as me, or maybe you'll luck out and won't have those issues. Um, so basically, you, you go to the GitHub page uh, to get the, the code. Um, now, this shows you what it does, basically, is you're able to like copy uh, links to nodes and then paste it in Slack. Uh, if you don't know what Slack is, it's a collaboration tool. Um, you might, if you don't know Slack, maybe like Zoom or, you know, just any other uh, chat kind of collaboration tool. Um, there's, there's many out there. Um, you can get a link uh, and that will link to your project to uh, specific assets. Now, this is based on this Red Tally app uh, uh, plugin. It's based on this uh, Hermes apt um made by uh, jorgen here um brilliant project and that this this does links on its own but it links to uh assets specifically and they the red talia builds off of that um i will jump in in a second after I show you how to um get it in there right uh so in the issue that i had when putting this into my unreal engine 5.1 um, is that the plugins folder is generally in the the engine itself and then you just like launch the plugin from there um, here I had to rebuild it in 5.1 um, as it says here on the Oregon's page the Hermes it's uh, links it to the Unreal 4 editor so I'm not sure that it's uh, built uh, correctly on its own as you download it I had to rebuild it um, for 5.1 um, so I had to create a new plugins folder in the project itself rather than in the engine, um, which is, that's a normal thing. It's just that, uh, the Unreal Engine 5, uh, projects don't have a plugins folder, but, you know, just create a folder, um, create a folder, throw in Hermes, throw in Red Talia, um, and it'll ask you to build it. Now, I tried this with a different project as well, and I ran into an issue, um, where it would say that I needed to, like, recompile it from source. Um, and I didn't want to do that, so I, I tried, um, uh, just trying it with another project, and it skipped that step, and I was able to, um, uh, launch the project after it built. Uh, it was the virtual reality project here. Uh, let me show you exactly what Hermes and Rotalia do. Um, so, like, Hermes, it's mostly assets. So, let's say this, you know, like, the skeleton of this gun. I right-click, simple enough copy url that reveals this asset um so now i can go to slack um you can see some links here that i've been testing out and i can link to myself you see it makes a nice little url there so that goes to that skeletal asset um so i'll send that now i can uh this is a message from slack um that i can either open the link that it goes to outside the website or not a website it opens an app not a website um now I can click this so that it never appears again, but I'll just keep this up now just to show you. Um, if I open the link, well, it doesn't look like it did anything because I was still on the page. But if I go off here, try it again. So this I could have linked this to somebody else and then it, it opens, opens the, opens the uh, exact object that I linked. I can even close it. I'll save it. Close the whole project. So right now I don't have any, oh, see, even my uh, editor, my um, my launcher popped up. I don't have any project open right now, but if I click the link, open link, what's it do? It opens the project for me, which might take a second here. But in the meantime, um, let me explain. So what Red Talia does, uh, similar but it does it within the blueprint. Um, so you can find nodes in the blueprint um, where you can either open to the specific node or you can um, 
uh, rather than focusing on the node specifically, you can open uh, what's in the node. So this shouldn't take too long. I do like the Unreal Engine 5 loading, the standard loading page here with a nice glowy Unreal Engine. Big update from the Unreal Engine 4 loading screen. Nice depth and stuff in there. Uh, but yeah, so it's it's in Slack, so um, I'm not just finding my own links, um, which actually, now that I think about it, that could be useful too. Just keep links and documents so you know where you put things if your project gets really wild. Um, but I can link to somebody else. I, I can be like, hey, how do you do this note again? Um, let me make up a name, like John, and I link it to them, and they're just like, oh yeah, you know, like, uh, thanks for linking it to me. I would have not found that in your spaghetti code. <laughs> uh, not that this should be a way to uh, justify spaghetti code, but uh, yeah, links are very useful. I mean, just one click. Um, so if I didn't even have it open, I just click it and it will go directly to the, um, yep, popping right here. See? Right to that skeletal mesh of the gun. Um, and that I could have done that with this texture, just to show, to show you. Um, if I could see with my eyes, I thought I could do it with the texture. Yeah, right here. Um, so this cool little u or no h it's an h opposite of a u inverted um copy url that's hermes we can also do that here paste i don't even have to actually send it open link goes right to it uh should have changed the page first so that it actually did something goes right to it um but then there's red talia which is what we're the core thing of what we're reviewing here. So let me find a blueprint. Here's a blueprint. I think I actually put some nonsense code in here to show. Oh, uh, one more thing. Um, before I get to that, uh, let me open a mesh. So there's a second way in Hermes to link things. Like instead of linking the actual icon out here, I can go into the, uh, the asset and up here in Assets, there's another Hermes link, copy link to Asset. So if I close this, go back to my Slack, get rid of this. Open link. And look, it opens the closed file here. Um, so now Retalia. You can see here it's got a different icon. Um, it's probably really hard to see on your screen, but if I pull up Retalia, I think it's got its icon somewhere here. It's kind of cool, but unfortunately they're very tiny. Maybe if I zoom in. Enhance. Enhance. There you go. That's. I mean... Now it's all pixelated, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I'd like to see a full version of that. Hermes icon is great. Actually, I wonder if the icon is in file here. Talia plugin. Probably is. Anyway, let's get back to actually showing you what's going on here. So there's another option. There's a copy focus node. Um, now, since I can't break into this one without going in C++, um, it uh, it only has the focus node. But you can also open node, copy open node. So what's that do? Loading Visual Studio. That's what it does. No, that's not what it does. Um, there we go. So what happens? So I didn't open the 4-H loop. And I didn't even know you can open 4-H loops, but apparently you can. So what happens here is this is the code for the for each loop. All this stuff, standard macros, for loop, for each loop. Look at that. I didn't even know that was there. I just used for each loops and not even, not even crossed my mind to question what went into a for each loop. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, you could link that to people if you want to like have a more complex macro or node or whatever. That is 
phenomenal for collaboration. Um, and here it's a blueprint, so it still has the Hermes copy URL. That is also amazing. Link it right there. I'm going link crazy, linking all kinds of stuff. And again, you can uh, make it so that message doesn't always pop up. I imagine that if I was using this on a regular basis, uh, right now I'm not collaborating with anybody on my projects. I am solo devving at the moment, so I will be playing around with this more, but I probably won't be using it all the time until I start collaborating with people. It is good to know that CD Projekt Red is taking the initiative to build um, stronger tools for development. I could um, see one day uh, Hermes and Red Talia being some sort of like basic part of the suite where you can link to all kinds of programs so that people can easily uh, have great workflows, really simple and streamlined. Um, anyway, I think this is very, very useful. Um, I will be suggesting using this to any collaborations I have in the future. Um, but uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, if you have solutions for any of the things that I brought up or if I missed anything, uh, please comment below. Um, thank you and uh, have a good day. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.